plan to get in candid with me, your girl Helen. Remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything that we upload on this channel. Now, today my guest is one who has a whole lot of things that we can talk about. From his unique fashion sense, his unique music, from being, de being deported to his studio burning down. I'm talking about Mumbayachi. Stay tuned as I chat with Mumbayachi. Welcome back. I mentioned that I'll be chatting with Mumbayachi. Hi. Hi, hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm okay. I'm just surprised that we the last time we sat down to chat was like three years ago. Yeah, yeah. It was three years ago. Exactly three years ago. Time yeah. is flying. Time is flying. But I, I was asking, like, you like boy, your phone, Papa. I'm a light or something. Ah, no, it's just that. Uh, just I told you, my daughter gave it to me and she put it on my head and my hair. She said, no, daddy, I want you to look nice, you know. I don't know, it's just these ribbons. And you decided to wear it just like Yeah, I feel proud. <laughs> it's like, you know, when, when we'll be older, your child buys you a, a car, yeah. and you know how parents feel like. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm feeling like. Okay, she has bought this for me. Okay, cool, nice. How old is your daughter now? Uh, she's five. Oh, wow, nice. So uh, I, I, I was just rem reminding you that the last time we talked, the day your interview was actually airing, was the day you were deported. Oh, yeah. And that interview, we were talking about you being arrested and stuff, I remember very well. Mm -hmm. But then, um, one thing I want to find out, how was, when you were deported, where were you taken? Did you have where to who, to receive you or? Yeah, yeah, I was home, yeah, in Mokambo. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think this is the, I really appreciated this uh, interview very much. I really waited for it. Yeah. Much, because this is my last time I'm talking about the deportation yeah. act and whatever. Yeah. So I can um, clear it to the people out there and to other journalists out there. If you receive me in your platform, don't ask me anymore about deportation. Yeah. So what, what happened was, so this is getting candid. Eh? Yeah, so, so I, I need want to, you to get candid. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened was, um, when we actually were talking on that, when we had that interview, yeah. I was on um, permanent, uh, I was in a temporal, Tempor I had the temporal permit, meaning I could move around, but it was temporal, because I was waiting for court sentencing, yeah, for the last judgment. So I think I can assume it was, maybe it was early November, the interview we had? Yeah. Yeah. So the 13th of November, that's the day I went now for, for the last uh, judgment. And then it, the sentence was that I was supposed to be deported until I have the Congolese passport to come back. So I was deported on the 14th of, uh, of November. Yeah. And then, so when I was by the border there, that's where I found my, my people, my parents were there. Okay, nice. Okay, uh, uh, that's relieving because a lot of people were worried to say, okay, where is he? He's been in Zambia for so long. Where is he? How is he going to start? But how was it settling in? I would, I'd like to know how you, your life was here. Then you yes. had to go and more like start afresh? No, uh, not really starting afresh in terms of music because it was like an hot, I, I took like a break mm -hmm. from music, yes. But in terms of life, it was like catching up with old, old, old friends, you know? Yeah, yeah like uh, visiting old, old places. And then most of the time, I even never used to, to be around. I used to be in SA most of the time. Okay. Yeah, I used to just go. So well, there was a time when we flew and we landed in Dola. There were some, I think there were some players who were supposed to land in Dola. And then, but I was deported in Zambia, but we landed <laughs> in Dola. Land, yeah. Yeah, and then they came out and then we, we proceeded. Yeah, things like that. So it was quite um, a very good experience also to learn more. What were you doing in ASA performing? Because I had a lot of, I still have a lot of friends there. So, you know, I feel more comfortable. Like you feel like it is Zambia, so that yeah. feeling oh, of, okay. yeah, yeah. So, but, you know, just my friends who understand me very well, we can talk. After some time, I go back to, to Congo as well, my parents. Just like that, it was quite um, a very beautiful experience. Okay, nice. But uh, you, you left your child and your wife, right? Mm -hmm. Here in Zambia. Mm -hmm. how, how was it? it should, how, was, how were they handling it and how did you handle living uh, the two, I think, most important people in mm -hmm. your life? Yes, uh, it was... It, 
very um, painful experience, I can imagine, eh? especially my daughter, you know, but I'm a very, how can I put it, like a daddy-daddy arrangement, eh? yes. you know, so she's my good friend, my best friend, so it's like, she was always asking, where is daddy, where is daddy, where is daddy, but sometimes we live, let's say we can go for a show in, in, in Kasama or in Ndola, you can stay maybe for not more than a week, you know. She, she was used of those kind of three days, but, yeah. but you know, a month, another month, another month, you know, it How was... How long was it? For a year, a full year. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it was hard, but still the, she used to come and visit me at the border. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. At least she used to see you. Yeah, she used to come and visit. Yeah. Okay, great. Then when you came back, how was that? Yeah, when I came back, it was straight work. Uh, what we wanted to do is just to go to the studio and start working, start rebuilding ourselves, start working, start writing new songs, putting the bands together. Yeah. Yeah. When I, I came back like yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, it was yesterday, like on the 14th of December. Mm -hmm. 14th of December 20, uh, 2018, yeah, yeah. So, Two years. yeah, so it was quite a very beautiful thing, so I feel like, I, I think since I came back until today it's just work, 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 work. And it's going well, right? Yeah, it is, it is. Okay, so first, uh, before we even talk about uh, other things, I would like to know, uh, who, do you have a stylist, a designer, or do you just do things <laughs> No, I just do things myself. Do you design and say Mpangiren Kwech? Yes, yes, I will just tell the friend, Mpangira Kwechaso, Mpangira Kwechaso. Mm. So where do those ideas come from? Because you are quite unique from mm. your music to your... <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah it is... The salt, who the salt, the, the, the sandals, it's... Not your like everyday, like yeah. somebody's everyday style. Exactly. What no. inspires you to pick certain? I feel like what inspires me is um, joy and happiness. Uh, when you were talking about my socks, I saw you laughing a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, the socks not really funny because I think these are in fashion now. A lot of guys yeah. are wearing crazy. Yes. But then I'm looking at what it's going with, yeah, like the socks and the sandals. Yeah, but I feel like it has brought some joy. <laughs> yes, it has. Yeah, so I feel, I feel like that's what has inspired me, to bring joy to people. Okay. When you see me, you feel nice, you know, yeah. because people go through a lot, you know. Yeah. So when they see you, they laugh a little bit. It, it, it's a lot you yeah. do to their lives. Okay, and uh, I, I was been thinking, um, what is it come, uh, what will he be wearing? Oh, his head? When he comes up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, actually, I was just about to. Yeah? Yeah, I was just about to wear something on my head, and then I said, no, it's okay. No underwear on the head. Nah, but no. why there no underwear on the head? It's like now, under, for you, underwear is like also your signature look. Yeah. You're the, performing in underwear, you're yes. wearing underwear on yes. the head. You know, it's, uh, it's very simple because I've got dreads, you know? So if you put an underwear like this, and then you get this part in this one, in this one, in this other one, it's just like the legs. Okay. The way you put the legs in this one and in that other one. So the same thing with my hair. <laughs> I don't feel that underwear is good for people with short hair. It's good for people with long hair. Like his underwear. Yeah. You know? Is underwear good for anyone to wear on the head? It, yeah, especially for, especially I can say women who have got long hair. You you know? wear, so you put this on the other side and this on the other side. It is, it is fashion. I'm telling you this one, if I sell it to Gucci or Fendi or what, they will get it. it. So it's more like, don't bother yourself with ribbons, just yeah, right, just and put then the ribbons way. automatically happen. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, mm. that one you've cracked me for you. Ah, no, no, it's true. It, it's very true. It's very fashion. Okay. It is in, in a fashion sense. Okay, let's take a break. Now, this break, uh, you will have to pay attention because Joy will be telling us more about mingotainment, why you need to be mingotainment, why mingotainment is important. Listen closely. Fingertainment is basically a digital one-stop shop. It's a bit of everything. It's a bit of uh, it's a mixture of applications. So we have the entertainment part, we have the music part, we have posts and the like. So Mingotainment is basically a Zambian application that gives Zambians and others also a space of interaction and uh, 
entertainment in a nutshell. So on Mingotainment, we have the post section, we have a music section, we have artists now that have uh, started loading their audios and their videos as well. Of course, these videos are used for promotional reasons and the audios uh, are what users who actually buy. So at the end of the day, we're actually talking about a revenue uh, stream on Mingotainment. So basically, Mingotainment has that. We have hangouts where you find different joints, restaurants, hotels, where exactly they are. You could actually make a reservation on Mingotainment. Uh, we have TV channels and radio stations as well. Welcome back. So before the break, and I hope you paid attention to Joy and you've listened to why you need to be on Mingotainment and what Mingotainment is all about. Now, before the break, Mumbayachi was just telling me about why it's important to wear underwear. So if feeling an afuala cosa, then I can... Yeah, yeah, you know. It's just like horns. We, we all call ourselves goat. It's a goat. It's a goat. Yeah. That's a goat uh, arrangement right there. Okay, okay. So, okay, um, when you come back, you're settling in, everything is going well, your band is put up, you're recording new music, then your studio burns mm. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was sad. Yeah, it was. It that, was very that, sad. That was sad. You know, it, it's, those are situations that you don't expect, no. you know? Yeah. Those are situations. Even when, when I was told about it, it was like, uh, like I was dreaming, you know? Yeah. No, the studio is bent down. I was not even around. So, you know, you feel like... Uh, but when I went to see the, the site now, it was like, you know, it was real. You found everything bent to ashes. Yeah, because when I'm telling you, you're comforting yourself, say maybe Kwashala or something. Mm, you know? Yeah. yeah, so it was so, so painful. Very much painful. If I can think of myself, I can think of my partner, Jacob. You know, that studio was built in years, you know? Yeah, yeah you know, so to see those efforts in years to be bent, to ashes or something so so unbearable. Yeah. Uh, where were you when you were told the studio is burning down? And yeah, I was at uh, Braji's um, wedding. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and all the guys, the the, the, the Ken Dumbos yeah. of this world. That's where I was. So it was hard for me to stop the show, to tell them that I won't perform, guys. I have this and that. Yeah. Yeah. So I just said no. Let me continue and then after the because I thought to say if you stop if you stop the, the, the performance here. You're strong. Yeah, you know. I I thought of one thing to say, this man is having a wedding, it's just once in his lifetime. He needs to enjoy it to the fullest. You don't have to be that one person who spoiled the moment. Yeah. You know, I thought of that, I said no, let me just contain myself. After the event, that's when I can I can leave. That's very thoughtful. Yeah. So now, uh, how is it going? A lot of people came out and they donated so many things and a lot of artists, mm. people that are not artists. Yes. So how is it going? And uh, there was a donation of like somebody building you a, a studio? Is it Mutale yes. Mwanza? Yes, yes. No, Mutale really, she, she came out as, um, she will help with the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she will help with the building, meaning when we want to build, I will just give her the, what is needed. Yeah. Yeah, and then because she, she proposed that uh, 33 thing, 33K thousand, so she would do all the, the, spe the, the she would spend, she would buy all the stuff according to the yeah. 33,000. Okay, nice. Yeah. So how is it, because equipment now you have, how is that going? Is it at least, at least you're back yeah, somehow? Yeah, yes, yes, at least, yeah. I can say 50% in terms of instruments and yeah, what will remain is the, um, the structure. There is already a place for the structure where we can put the structure is already there so and then it will be okay and then my friend also is going to Europe in this January partner? yes yes yeah. Jacob is going this this month actually and then we can also have some other stuff from that side okay mm -hmm. oh that's so, nice that, that's nice now I saw I think one thing that hurts when you lose certain things as what records like you were recording music that mm. wasn't released yet right? yes exactly i saw teresa ngambi also she used to record from your studio yes yes she complained about so does that mean starting to record from scratch or yeah yeah you have to start recording from scratch but you know as artists sometimes we have uh, hard drives that we keep aside you know they are there but music is in your head you know 
you can I can record it even today. Yeah. You know, that is not a big problem for me. Okay. The big problem is that loss, mm -hmm. but uh, to record that music, it's not a big problem. Huh? Okay, that's, that's yeah. good to hear. So we're waiting to hear some more music from... Uh, yeah, but there, there are some music that were saved somewhere, that they will come out, you know, they, they were saved from the fire. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, you've released quite some songs, and uh, I was asking you what Jua means. Yeah, Jua... It's a nice song. Yeah, thanks a lot. Jua means the sun. Yeah, so it's a Swahili, the song we did in Swahili. I think these are the things that, that we did when, when I just came back. The project that we, we were concentrated on, like, let's start working. And that song was uh, recording, was recorded in SA, was a, when I was in SA, when I was deported. Yeah. yeah, so, and the person who paid that recording session was uh, Mr. Trevor Mumba. Is, yeah, he's a very, it's a person who really helps a lot of Zambian musicians. Yeah, I see him on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trevor Mumba, I will never forget about what he did for me. So, every time I listen to that song, I think of him. Okay, what, yeah. does, what does the song mean? What does the song talk about? Yeah, the song is talking about the sun. Um, the sun is everything. We are seated, you and me, we are seated here is because of the sun. If there is no that sun, we can't have life, you know. If you, you imagine the absence of the sun just for one minute, this earth will turn into total ice and there will be no life. So sometimes um, as human beings, we have to think of, about what makes you really, really be here. It's not your money, it's not anything, it's the sun. You know, sometimes when I'm talking about building, I will say we are build, we will build the studio what I'm thinking is the cement, blocks, whatever, bricklayers, what, what. But I'm not thinking about the sun, you know. But that is the one that is going to make that construction complete. Okay. Yeah, so we need to think about the basic things in life. Yeah. Okay, and then Ingwena. Yeah, Ingwena was also a song released from my latest album, also together with um, the sun. Uh, the Ingwena is the crocodile, it's also it's just this uh, Bemba knowledge to say when you eat a crocodile today, you celebrate, you, you have a big party, but when a crocodile eats one of you, you, you it's a funeral. You know, it's just like what they say in Bemba, in Sansa in Janya, you know? Yeah, so when you are happy today, maybe because of your happiness, other people are crying, you know? Also, maybe when you are crying today, other people are also rejoicing. So. That's life. You have to accept every situation that come. You have to know that um, we are changing. You know, this one is, is happy today, this one is crying today. So, but the key, the key message, I feel like it is for other people out there to, to tell me what it means. But for me, according to the stories that I grew up listening to was Insan Saku Chinjan. Okay, nice. Okay, so uh, we'll be closing, Mumbayachi, but then I want to find out the inspiration for the underwear where it came from, because I think it first started from you. Was it your cup, album cover or song? It was yeah, an album cover, yeah, right? Yes, yes. And uh, people talked a lot. Even uh, recently when you were performing and you were wearing underwear, a lot of people were like, so if it was a lady, they would have done da 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 But what inspired you to say, you know what, I'll be wearing this. Whether people talk, no, but I can't come to a number. What inspired you to go that direction? What inspired me is just art, you know. Um, as artists, we always want to do something different, just for the stage, just to make people happy, and to also make people question. Like, like an artist is a, is a, is a is an infant, is a baby, you know. An artist does things in the society to ask questions, you know. It's like a baby, a, a little child can wear an underwear on, on, on the head, you know? And the parents will tell her, no, here, you don't wear it, you don't put it on your head, yeah. you know? That's the same thing with an artist. I want people to tell me that it is not okay to put it on my head. This and I the want them to tell in. me the reason why I'm not supposed to put it on my head. I want to know the reason why. If, if for me, for how? If for me it is, it is, it is fashion, 
yeah. it, for me, it is making sense in, in a certain style. I talked about my hair being long, if it goes into this thing. Yeah. So I want people to tell me, really, why am I not supposed to put it on my head? Good. And uh, a lot of people were saying, I was reading the comments and people were saying, okay, Mumbai, we know you're creative, but this is now worrying us. Do you see some of those comments? Yeah, I was just told, I was told to say uh, people are complaining. I said they, they don't have to complain. They have to tell me the reason why I'm not supposed to put it on my So you've heard guys, and I think in the comments I would like to see why, tell us why you think Mumbachi should not wear underwear on the head. Yes. Me, I'm, I've told you man, I don't think it's meant and for I, and, and I don't even think it's an underwear. What does the under mean? Underwear. What does that mean? And you know, underwear, you know, it, it looks like it's something that must be under, something that must be yes, covered. It has to be under. But no, what is if I put it, it's not an underwear anymore, it becomes something like an head soap or something else. <laughs> you get the point. Oh my God, you're going to confuse me. Let me just <laughs> stop. <laughs> you're going to confuse me. Anyway, Mumbachi, I'm glad you're back doing your music and I'm glad your studio is coming up and uh, we, we means we'll be enjoying more and more music. True, true. That recovery process must be, I uh, know it wasn't easy to access. Yes, I can even take an opportunity from this program to, yeah. to say thank you. To say thank you to all the Zambian people out there, to all the people I call majesties out there for the support. Yeah. You know, it was unexpected. When we published that uh, on, on Facebook about the studio, it was just to let people know. What has happened. Yeah, yeah. you know, just that. That's it. I never really had an, an idea that people could come out like that. Yeah. So I'm so much humbled and thankful for all the people that came out. You know, it was so heart, heartwarming, like so touching, you know. Somebody can just send you a two kwacha, you know. It, it used to make me feel so bad, you know, like, this is what they have, you know. Even Jesus in the Bible, he talked about that lady that came to put those yeah. two. You know, it's like, you start thinking that this person, if they had more, would they would have given more. more. Yeah. So that studio will be built out of those little, little things people were putting in. So thank you very much for that. Okay. That is good, and we saw how united everyone became, and that was impressive, and I think all of us were happy to see people turn True. up like that. Yes, you see, and um, those are the things that really also made me see where the Zambian music industry stands for in terms yeah. of uh, working together. Yeah. So it's not only working together on a song, on what, featuring collab, no, working together even in things like that, you know somebody's studio is no more and then people can come out and put, put, uh, help out. So I'm so much thankful even to the, the industry at large, not only musicians, but even actors, even comedians. I'm so much um, thankful. Okay. Thank you so much for coming through. No, thank you for, for the platform. And uh, what, uh, what, what, what are we expecting? Any more new singles or what, what should we expect from Mumbachi? Yeah, you expect more collabs. Okay. Yeah, you know one thing about me? If I do a collab, it doesn't fail, it doesn't flop. Yeah, who are you collaborating with? Are you going uh, no, to tell us in surprise? No, there's a lineup of uh, friends. Just tell us one. No, there's a lineup <laughs> of friends. <laughs> so I'm doing, uh, I want to start collabs now. Yeah. Yeah, I want to make hit songs. Okay. Yeah, I want to, uh, the people out there who are looking for hit songs, they need to hook me up because yeah. I've been helped a lot with the studio thing. So I feel like I need to help out a lot also. Yeah. yeah so everyone who wants a hit song, they have to look for me. Okay, we're waiting. We're definitely <laughs> yeah. waiting for those collabs because it's no. true, like you said, every time you collaborate, no, it doesn't. Whether you are featuring or you're... it doesn't, because I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you? Do you ever think of doing uh, maybe having your own fashion line? Because really, this thinking yeah, maybe no. in future. No, it's not in future. Just next year. Oh wow! Um, yes, I'm working on something. Even that bamba, people are going to wear them on the head because it is not. <laughs> it is not an underwear. It is an head sock. Okay. You know, yeah, it is an head soap, but in a Amayachi style. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait, and I hope I can be at the launch. Yeah, yeah, have, please, please. Mwila, I need to be at the launch because <laughs> I need to see those things firsthand. Yeah, good. Yeah. No, thanks a lot. Okay, looking forward to everything that you'll be doing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Alrighty, guys, I hope you have been entertained. I have really been 
this is one interview I've had where I haven't, I've laughed so much. And I think he's right when he says I want to make people laugh because he has done that. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Stay tuned and subscribe. Bye-bye.